Hey, welcome to our episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. We've got a special guest, Winton, better known as Beerichi Tuba. That's right. How you doing? Good. We haven't done a Skype review since I think like February or something. Yeah, it was the Blind Pig yeah. IPA, right? Yeah. Yeah, and we got this is people might have heard of Schmaltz or Coney Island or Hebrew, um, a very interesting brewery. Like their headquarters are in San Francisco, where you live. Mm -hmm. But their beers are actually brewed half hour north of me in Saratoga. So it's oh, like, that this close? Is, yeah. Oh, wow. In fact, I'm probably going to take a tour of the brewery next month or something. But Oh, that's cool. Anyways, we're reviewing the uh, Coney Island Freaktoberfest with that Joker-looking face on there. Really freaky face. Yeah, I love the cap. It's so detailed, you know? Yeah, it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is uh, it's a blood red lager. Mm -hmm. Uses six malts, six hops, and the ABV is six point six six percent. That's appropriate for you know two Christian guys to be re reviewing. I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they're so symbolic too. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was red. What the heck? Or maybe I forgot. Yeah, that is freaky. <laughs> yeah, I hope that's like real. It looks like food coloring red, though. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't look like. It doesn't look natural. Yeah, it has to be. I mean, because because it looks just like a, a Cassis lambic or a Creek, right? And but even the carbonation's red, so it has or, to be. Or or Magic color. Hat's wacko. <laughs> Do you ever have oh that? yeah, <laughs> that's like well, th that was more pink. This is straight up. I mean, it's actually a pretty color, and I I don't know if you can see on camera, but the head is actually pink too. Is yours yeah, pink? Like, oh yeah, it's definitely pink. Yeah, everything is pink on this thing. Yeah, it's definitely very malty smelling. It has like that kind of lollipop kind of smell to it. Uh, it has like that very distinct lager smell to it, you know, like. Oh, for you sure. Know, smelling yeah. this, it's like yeah, it, you can smell it. it's a lager. I don't know, man. I, I think they, they must do something else to it. I don't know if it's just the, simply the food coloring, but it de definitely has this slight fruity kind of smell. I mean, I'd be surprised yeah. if they didn't use any anything else, you yeah. know, aside from the standard four ingredients. Yeah. You ready to dive in here? Yeah, might as well. Yep, cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Whoa, weird. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, it's interesting. Yeah. It's, it's like all over the place, but it's not, it's not bad. Yeah, it has this... I, I, I don't know about your bottle, but um, it has this slight sourness to it. It's like a really bright, sour bitterness, yeah. which makes me even more curious if they actually did use, put berries in it or some sort. Weird. Hmm. Yeah, there's like a slight, like a, like a, almost like a cranberry type tartness or sourness. Yeah, definitely does. Um, what the heck? But it is, it is very, especially for a lager, it is very, very malty. Um, mm-hmm. It is, it's noticeably it, sweet. It's like a. It, it it drinks more like an ale, or maybe it's like kind of like a Doppelbach. I don't know if that's what. The that kind of makes sense, actually. Like a like kind of like a Bach, and like you said, it's all over the place. I think so too, because I'm getting this tangy sort of sourness to it. Yeah. But it's also malty, like very typical of Schmaltz Brewing's lagers. They're really malty, but it also has a lot of bitterness at the end. This yeah. Kind yeah, of dry yeah. bitterness, which I mean, I guess I'm guessing because they use six different hops in it. But you get you get bitterness with the whole palate, like from start to finish. Yeah, it's a pretty bitter lager, actually. Yeah. Like more than their their sword swaller IPA. Oh, IPA yeah. lager, IPL. Yeah, it's, it's definitely. Yeah, it's like it's like it's just like a straight, pure, consistent bitterness, but it's not like hoppy mm. per se. Like it's not like, you know, citrusy or piney or anything. It's just kind of like a one size fits all bitterness. You know. Yeah, I mean, like a better terms, one dimensional bitterness. I'm drinking it pretty quick though. I mean, I don't have that much left. Mm -hmm. It's um. You know, it's pretty drinkable. It doesn't, you know, 6.66%. Uh, it doesn't yeah. really seem that heavy. Yeah, it's, it's definitely on uh, It's on the higher side for a lager, but it's, yeah. it's the, the overall body is light. And, I mean, it has, if anything, the body is, it has more of this 
cranberry yeah. some something. They have to have used fruits because I mean, it totally <laughs> tastes like it. Or That's food weird. like additives or something. Yeah, yeah, something. Um, yeah, it's one of those beers where it's like you, you have to think about it. Like if you how much you like it, you know, because like it, it throws you yeah. for a loop. Um, it is noticeably the thing I notice most is that it's like really sticky sweet. You mm. know, like the the sweetness. The hops don't linger here like the the malts do. It's like a stickiness, like a, you know, like a, if you're eating pancakes and maple syrup, that kind of residual stickiness on the tongue. So, what are your final thoughts on this beer and rating wise? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's it's good. It's not. It's interesting. It's not like amazing. It's interesting because it's you know pretty unique. But mm-hmm. you know, just because something's unique or original doesn't make, necessarily make it good. Um, right. But this is, you know, it's a nice kind of change of pace, easy to drink, lager. It's it's kind of, you know, by the nature of it, though, it's like, what would be the situation to drink this in? Because I don't really, it doesn't really seem like something I would drink with a meal. And it's, like, it's sweet, but it's not really a dessert beer. So, I mean, it's a good beer just on its own. I'd probably give this like a 7 out of 10, you know, like a B, you know, just plain good. Yeah. What do you think? Um, <clears throat> those are my thoughts. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no. Um, I, I think this, this is really ambiguous, I have to say. And this is coming from someone that likes all kinds of styles. I mean, even sours. I'm just like on a sour kick like half of the craft beer world is. But yeah. this is just really strange, I must say. I, I think just the, I mean... If it is supposed to have the sour stinginess in it, you know, like how it stings your tongue, mm-hmm. and the maltiness and the really dry bitterness, it's just very confusing to me. And and this is coming from someone that I actually like almost all of Schmaltz Brewing stuff. I'm actually a fan, and yeah. I, I don't know, are, are you a fan of their stuff in general? Um, yeah, it's funny because they're right up the road, and I actually hardly ever drink their stuff. Well, that's like a Anchor Brewing is like a two-minute yeah. walk from my house, and I don't drink their stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, right I, I, I'm gonna give this like, I don't know, more like a B minus. Like, and I, I, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame a person if they were to give this like a C or anything. Yeah. Like that, because it's just so strange, and they might be turned off by yeah. the by the sourness and the oddity of this, the character of this beer. So, I mean, it's like at most it's B minus for me. I mean, I wouldn't, I may go down to C plus even, but like that's kind of the general vicinity yeah. that I rate this. Yeah, like I can admit that it's like a good beer, but I don't. I can't really see anybody like kind of jumping for joy about it. But yeah, um, you know, and it's, the aroma. I, I think I think the aroma is something else to consider because uh, I mean, it's just like I don't know. I, I don't. I don't like the aroma in this, and I think aroma is pretty important on a in a beer. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess it about does it for the Coney Island Freaktoberfest. Mm-hmm. Um, thanks to Winton, a.k.a. Beerichi Tuba, for joining me. No problem, man. Um, yeah, and go check out his channel, and we'll see you next time, right? Yep, most definitely. Alright, come by. Come by.